we started doing just the other day and it's been making us an extra hundred dollars a day every day we do it on eBay. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to talk about something I've put off for a little while. Something that has garnered us an extra $100 a day every single day we have been doing this. Now, we've had items up for a very, very long time. Four years, almost five years in some cases. So many of the items we have up, the photo isn't very good. We didn't have a scanner. We didn't have the nice cameras. So what we started to do is go back through them and adjust them. Go back through and redo the photos to garner some more sales. The very first day we started doing this, it has paid for our labor. And now we get $100 or more every single day we have been doing this. We're not doing anything other than changing the photos. These are items that are already listed. There's no extra work other than rescanning or taking a quick photo with a better camera. As I said in many other videos, the top three things of every single listing out there is your photo, your title, and your price. Changing one of those will restructure it, will force eBay to rethink and recategorize it so that a search result will be different. So now we are selling some of these earlier items with better images. Let's hop over and show you the drastic difference and change and why they are selling so much better now. So here we are in my store in the seller hub and we're on the listing page and we're just looking at all of my listings. Now these are some of the ones, these ones you see here that I put up in 2016. Now we've went through and fixed all of these. Not only did we up the photo quality, rescan them all, but we put zoom ins on every single one of those. The zoom in is something as well. If you're going to fix it, you might as well zoom in on these sorts of items. Knowing what's key, what's the best part of the image is going to help you to sell it without a doubt. Having a good quality image and a good quality image that's zoomed into something really neat, really interesting, something that will make your listing stand out is what it's going to help sell it. So as we're doing this, we've been doing about 100 or more every single day. And we're selling at least 3 to 5% of those every single day we just fix the photo, which is the very same ratio on average we get for listing new items. We at least sell 3 to 5% every day we list new items. It's the same basic result, just improving your pictures. Now, as of right now, I'm just using the Epson DS510 series duplex scanner, and we are just scanning paper. It doesn't take objects that are not square. So we've got a few items that you can kind of see the difference. Here is one of our old ones taken with a green background. This is it right here. You can see just how horrible the actual image is. This will be fixed as well. It's not even straight down. Again, this was taken five years ago when quality of the images for us wasn't as big of a deal. We were more worried about getting revenue coming in. We should have thought more about taking better quality photos or investing if we had the chance or opportunity or even the funds into a better type of camera. Nowadays, everything is taken at a certain DPI. Everything is taken with a certain camera with certain lenses or they are scanned. Now this will be scanned with our Epson V600 flatbed scanner once we finish all the cards we need to duplex scan. So you can see the terrible quality in this. No wonder it's been up so long in all honesty just by looking at it. And this one here was listed on the very same day, April 3rd of 2016. But we have since rescanned it and we have done a zoom in. So basically we scan the front and back of the card at the same time with the DS scanner. We do it at at least 600 DPI. Not really concerned at what other people do it or what's recommended, 600 DPI works for us. That allows me to do a zoom in. So what I do is I upload two copies of the front of the card. Very same image, I'm not doing an extra image. I'm just double uploading the very first image, the front of the card. And then one of them I will crop and check the quality on. And as you can see, when you scan through this and you're looking at the main image here on a gallery view, 
gallery view is when you're scanning through and looking at this it's going to shine it's going to pop far better than it did before and before it had this awful green background the light was reflecting off it was just a terrible terrible scan so if you've got things that have been up for a few years you've upped your game you've been able to buy a better camera a scanner which you may not have had before i would honestly and sincerely recommend going back in and fixing some of your early Earlier listings as I said it's garnering us an extra hundred dollars every single day I do it so it is a big plus it's something that will be helpful to you overall it'll set a better standard for how your store looks and the whole works now here's another section now I use a bin number for everything a location and where the items are in my building where they're stored and I list them I get a lot of questions on that for me it's helpful because I can instantly just type in a letter of a bin and pull up all of the items just in that bin. Now this is Z9 that I have pulled up and it's pulled up all of the cards that I have in that bin. Now there may be some other items as well that have a Z9 as their number but they're not going to be cards so it's very easy to distinguish them. If you come back in another day or so and check them you will see them gone. We are trying to improve them. We've already worked halfway through here and the quality difference is just horrendous. So this is a big help for us. So we're getting revenue in on stuff that we've already got the labor into it's not much extra labor to scan a whole stack of cards and then from there to just re-upload them and fix them here's just an example out of z9 just to give you an idea the image itself looks okay but obviously if it was zoomed in if the quality was better the lighting was fixed and the whole works it would show it would pop that's what you're looking for the titles are okay in these it's not the title that's the factor it's not even the price many of the ones we fixed sold at the full price again these are ones that have been up five years so at this point going forward we are going to be correcting and fixing every single thing we can across the board this is one of the ones from z9 that we have fixed as you can see the image is far clearer looks much better it's going to sell because of the type of card the title is correct everything else that's important is there so this is a decent one here now for us this is a big boost because at this point I can just spend a little labor and fix a whole bunch of them in half the time it would take to actually list them over again so again we're just fixing the photos the sales keep coming in for these these are increased over and above what was sold before so every single day we've been able to add a hundred bucks on to our sales so at the end of a week 700 more dollars have come in from selling things that have been up for five Five years again we've been just trying to push go for quantity now we have quantity I have other stores I'm on other platforms so now's the time to come back in and adjust these to get the sales going back on to give them that boost that oomph that they will need to continue to sell photos are incredibly important and this just proves that without a doubt just the simple fact of upgrading the images have sold these now in some of the items we have we could actually get away without actually uploading new images we could just download a copy of the front of an item and then re-upload it so now we have two and one of the images could be a zoom in I can use eBay's system to actually correct any coloring or lighting issues with it if I so need to or wish so that is another thing that you can do the biggest most important aspect of your listing here would be the gallery viewed image so if say the images inside the listing aren't super super good but they show it very detailed as long as the main image this image the image that everybody sees when they're scanning or going through your store and say a gallery view or something or they're looking at search results that main image is what really matters that's the most important image in your entire item so if the main image is okay you can at least get them into your store instead of just window shopping if you looked at again some of the old items like in the z9 category that I showed you they look terrible there's no zoom in quality there's nothing good about the images they were shot at less than 300 dpi as well so at this point going up to 600 dpi will give you that big boost to it now one of the main reasons I do 600 dpi on these is because I am doing a zoom in not only that if I do the 600 dpi when someone goes and hovers over the item it's much larger than life they can see every tiny little detail of the item I never have an issue when I do that 
that with someone not seeing something wrong with the card. Because again, every single inch, every single millimeter of the card is shown. I have added a plain border around all the items that I scan with the duplex scanner, and that will create this border you see around it. Now you can change the color on the border, so I could have put a white background, but I want it to be able to stand out from the white bordered background that's already part of the card. So again, that's a big plus for this. If you've got a duplex scanner and you didn't check your settings, chances are it may be scanning right up to the edge of the card and could be cutting off part of your actual item. I would never ever post an image that doesn't show every single bit of an item because that could be misleading if there is something wrong on the rest of it. It's a mistake that you could make that could cost you a return for some stupid simpleton issue. Well, there we have it. Hopefully that gave you some ideas ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. Specially marked packages, Manny Faces comes with five extra weapons. He-Man and Manny Faces each sold separately. Part of the Masters of the Universe collection from Mattel.